by your strength and power. God gave you volume. You thought it was by your grace. And now the volume is turned down. You are still playing. Look at the keyboard is playing. No? This guy is playing. Did you stop playing? No. He's still playing. But the difference is that the volume will be turned down. So God give you one in song. One. One in song. The whole world is hearing your in song. You turn to something else. So that thing that brought you to where you were before, you forget it. God give an opportunity to somewhere, to Lambla, to whatever. You now forget how you got to where you where you were. Or you forget where you were coming from. Then your volume is turned off. You, you are still playing. You are still playing. People are you are going up and down. To you, but no voice, no voice. What nations want to hear is your voice. It is the volume that comes from your voice. Now, I'm going to explain it another way now. This volume, can you hear it? But a little, right? What about this one? Sir, just keep playing. You just keep playing. What about this one? Is it increasing? What about this one? What about this one? Are they the same thing? 
Some of you, your volume is like this. What you need now is to enter another realm of volume. But you, you, you prefer to remain in this volume because people can hear you small, then you are satisfied. They are paying you 100,000 for meeting. You are okay. You are, the only place you are ministering is that your street. That your bus stop, that your area. That's where they know you. And you're already a celebrity. You, people greet you, you can't sign again. This is your volume. Another man is operating in this volume. And he's still humble. And then God takes him here again. Why? Because he's humble. He was here. These things are spiritual, sir. The secret of any lifting of a man, it is in his alignment of submission. That's why the most professionals are not the ones on the top. Have you checked it? The most professional, the ones that knows how to do it best on the drums, the ones that are good. They know how to do it, but they are not the ones on the top. They are not the celebrities. Why? Because they got to a point where they are too good and they don't need God. They are too good and they don't need God. But those ones that know that they are not good, they want to gently hold God, who is a sustainer. And they, the more they keep holding God, the more God keeps holding them. And the more God is holding them, is giving them volume. And it makes our volume relevant. These are, these are the secrets that people don't know to greatness. Maybe you have voice, but how loud is your voice? They know your song in Nigeria. Kenya is there, Ghana is there, Zambia is there, Pakistan is there. Other people, their song are really the sick, raising the dead. You are just there. Somebody say, Your song is touching my heart. Somebody just come to you and say, That your song is touching my heart. That's all. Though. We can no longer bring you again. You are all right. Nobody can talk to you again and you listen. You are just before your fall. You are before your fall. Let's go. Bombe mi sare, oh oh luambe, loria emilio. Bombe mi fo, bombe mi sare, oh oh luambe, loria emilio. Bombe mi fo, bombe mi sare. I have acknowledged that everything that I am today is not in my skill. It's not because I know how to sing. God, for, I am not the best of voice. But why is my voice the voice everybody wants to hear today? I cannot do all the riffs and runs like they can do. I cannot do all the scale that they can do. But why is it that when I open my voice, the power of God comes down mightily? There is something that I know. And it is that I am submitted to the will of the Father. That I am totally nothing without Him. If He doesn't show up, I can't go. And if it doesn't appear in a place, I can't be there. I know it. So why do you flamboyant on your skin? See, we have left the days of skin. We have, hey, I, we have left the days where skill brings people to lamplight. Those days are gone. We are in the season where if you don't carry fire now, you can't be among the men. People will begin to wear you by the fire. Everybody wants to mingle with people that are burning for Jesus now. That's the season we are in. You are still busy doing your PGV, your background vocals, doing all your riff and runs, professionalism, and then no fire. And then when they are looking for a backup singer for a particular program, they will ask you a question. I know you have a voice, but do you carry fire? Because we need a taste of anointing. And you don't carry it. So they will say, please excuse me. We need that sister. Her voice is not really good, but there's something she carries. Once she opens her voice, we know that power will fall into me. Those are the people we need. So what are you doing with your life in this season now? You are busy going for the answer. You are busy scoring song up and down. You have been scoring song for 20 years. You have been in the choir for 20 years. You have been ministering every Sunday. Service has been the same thing. 
You have never ministered one day in service and there was a slave in the, in the, in the service. People falling under the power of God. People under the power of God. Is it, is it wrong that the choir comes up to minister and then before pastor comes up, the, the whole of the atmosphere is dead off. Why do you like casualty? Why do you like simple things? There is something called extra. You have what you have is ordinary. You need extra to make it extraordinary. So it's not complete. Come me for Come there me for I asked myself, what did the band know that when they are inviting the band, they are ready to fly his team? The same thing I heard Moses B say. They will want to invite Moses B, they can, they can fly 12 people, pay their flight ticket of Fuerto. And you, when they want to bring you, they will say, follow road. Follow road. Don't I deserve to be on the plane too? And I said, no, those rubbish have to stop. I need to build value on my anointing. I need to get more value. I need to carry value that they will, they will even think by themselves that I can't. It's not possible for this man to be on the road. I want to bring you and say, no, you can't try it. You can't try it. Is it wrong to travel by road? No. The people traveling by road, do they have five hands? No. But there is something that I carry that is not in the same quality of traveling by road when there is a plane. So people are ready, it's got value. And the only way to carry that value is by anointing. It's not by skill. Skill is good, but there needs to be a test of anointing on your skill. Because we're in a season where if there is no anointing, you are going nowhere. If there's no fire, if there's no touch of fire on you, you are going nowhere. Trust me. Oh, you are not going anywhere. So Peter may understand that thing. That's why I said, one baby for one baby Saturday. Imagine a man that was meeting 100,000 people gather, still opens his mouth and say, one baby for now you they carry me fly, now you they carry me jump, now you they carry me wrong. So he, he understands the source of his knitting. And just you, one song trend, nobody know you again in church. One song trend, you can't be in the choir again. One song trend, you can't come to the choir dancer again. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Pastor cannot talk to when they are talking to you, they say, Mind the way you talk to me. I'm not your mate. One song. And you want to last. Check Nathan Bass. That man has been seeing if I was born. Nathan Bass has been seeing if I was born. He is still relevant till today. I can count many artists that came out in the season that they can't hear them again. There was something they didn't know. That was why their life ended like that. Yeah. And let me tell you, those artists you, you can't hear there. It's not like they did not, they did not stop singing. No. They are still singing. But what happened to them? Their volume was reduced. They are where they are. They are releasing album, releasing song. Nobody can hear them anywhere. There is no volume. There is no volume. Because they're not when they want to bring them for meeting now. Um, please, I hope the mic, the microphone, the, the kind of microphones I used to use for minister, the kind of microphone I used to use to sing. Uh, I don't use the normal microphone. Before you bring me, you need to have this kind of acoustic. And then when you arrange all those things, God has led you. So yeah, you do your thing. So you cannot manage this the motive keyboard we have. You can't do so no, 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 no. your church needs to have this kind of keyboard, your church needs to have this. Then we can't bring you, and you want your voice to be ready. And you want to and you want to be ready, man. How? Your volume. We are going to pray and say, Lord, my volume will ever be loud. Don't understand. My, my volume will ever be 
loud. Every season and every generation, they will hear that volume. Nothing will stop my sound. Nothing will stop my sound.
I will be naked and not ashamed. Yes, I found a place I will ever rest. Yes, I found a place I will be naked and not ashamed. Yes, I found a place I will ever rest. Jesus is my rest. Jesus is my resting place. Jesus is my hiding place. Jesus is my With you, Lord, I can be naked and not ashamed. With you, Lord, I can be open and have no fear. Because I found in you. A friend that I can trust. That is why you remain my great physician. Cause I found you. A friend that I can trust. That is why you remain my great physician. 